funny is like, you know, write your own comedy, but we're gonna set you fucking tasks. <laughs> yeah, so my name is Sean, I'm 25, I'm Irish, I'm gay, I'm overweight, and I'm a nerd. <laughs> so we don't like the fact that I'm gay, trust me, there's loads of things to hate. Um, I'm gonna tell you a bit about myself. Uh, I come from a very sort of traditional Irish family, I suppose. Uh, my mom's the traditional Irish, in the sense that I call her, I don't know if anyone has a mother like this, I call her the somebody mother. In the sense that whenever she's annoying at something, you'll know exactly who she's talking about in the family. But she'll use the word somebody instead. So it's like, oh, well, I would have made the dinner if somebody had not, not turned on the dishwasher. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. And then she's always the same as well with an argument. She's, whenever she's losing an argument, and she knows she's losing an argument, she'll bring up stuff from the 90s <laughs> to win the argument. So it's like, no, you don't understand that that was my favorite t shirt. You're just throwing it out. Do you not remember in 1994 when I was out doing the garden and you were in your playpen? <laughs> no, it doesn't work for her. It doesn't work for her at all. Um, but she actually, in fairness to my mum, she was actually pretty good when I came out. Um, and I know, second day of the night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good openers. Um, <laughs> I love you, and I accept you, but if you ever come home wearing a dress... <laughs> I suppose I did live up to that kind of, because I never came home wearing it. But there is... <laughs> there is pictures of a drag queen around town called Connie Lingus, and I just say she's my sister. <laughs> so that's fair enough. And I, you know, I actually, I, I'm, in, I'm in a relationship now, and she's actually very good with this sort of... She loves, she loves the boyfriend more than me. Um, and I, I sort of had that moment with my mum, that... I've, I've had a single bed beforehand, and I've bought a queen size. I know, shut up. <laughs> I bought a queen size, and the first night that my boyfriend and me spent in it, the next day my mum said, Oh, and uh, what did the boyfriend think of the new bed? I said, Oh, it was great. It was so spacious. You know, the two of us were able to do starfish, you know. <laughs> You don't want to be known in your sexual position. <laughs> I said, no, mom, no, honestly, we were just spooning. She said, oh, Jesus, Sean, you're using cookery now. <laughs> you know, I, know, I know a lot of you are hoping that all of us are going to be funny, because I can see one side of the room thinking, shit, I'm missing the Euros for this. The other side, I'm missing Big Brother for this. But you know what, I was actually thinking on the way in, it's so dramatic this year, isn't it? Like, they always put that one diva, that bitch in that sort of, you know, causes tantrums and fights and all this sort of stuff. So I decided I'm just going to watch Big Brother instead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, I, I, being in a relationship now, you learn to like, not learn to look after yourself, you sort of realise you have to or you lose them. So I take, I took a waxing. Now I don't mean the, <laughs> I mean the smear and scrape type. You know, that sort of like, you know, I don't know if, okay. oh, yeah. yeah, you start cringing, but you smooth them out now. Um, so yeah, so I started, using it on my back. And I used it, and I left it on the sink, and I went out to have lunch with my cousin. And then I got a phone call from my dad about an hour later, and he goes, Sean, me and your mum are going to go out for lunch, and we're in a rush. I went up to brush my teeth. <laughs> this is a true story, by the way. He said, I was brushing my teeth, and I thought, this toothpaste smells like shit. <laughs> There wasn't a hair on his bones for weeks. I was thrilled with that. And you know what, I actually, speaking of my mom earlier, like my, my auntie is actually quite similar to her. She's what I call an aspirational auntie that she, for like, for gifts that she gives you. If those of you who don't know what an aspirational person is in that way, the type of person that likes to point out your flaws. The types of, you know, the ones that give you gloves right after you've lost a finger or two, you know, that's true <laughs> So when I was growing up, she used to give me like, you know, pairs of trousers, pairs of jeans and stuff like that that were two sizes too big. She goes, don't worry, Jean, you'll fit into them eventually. <laughs> so I adapted the same thing and I bought her a coffin. <laughs> said, don't worry at all, you'll grow into it eventually. <laughs> I can just imagine my mom at the time, it's like, well, we're gathered here today. Because somebody couldn't stay alive. <laughs> Thank you very much, I think. <laughs>